Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to check what Bitcoin is doing, how the crypto market is behaving, let's say where it is going, what we can expect and when. Also, we are going to talk about the big news on Aaron because a lot of things are coming together and it begs the question, will Aaron blow up? So let's start with the, with the market, let's say. I already have this news open, but let's just start with Bitcoin, check the price. Let's see what we can see on the price action because even though it broke out, from the from a triangle on the one hourly and twitter is full of it well let's say it's not too promising it's not too promising for me because bitcoin is not going up the volume is not convincing people are not buying in uh, everybody is waiting maybe with their with the bitcoin on exchanges to sell if it goes back to the 35 or maybe 40,000, which i don't think it will happen because we do have a very big resistance here we also have a big support, but the resistance is stronger from my point of view. And right now, crypto itself became less interesting. Okay, everyone is just waiting for it to drop, to go lower. Now, will it? We don't know. I think we will see some more, uh, you know, drops, some bigger dips. And even on the even on the three day three day chart, we can see that uh, this 200 day or 203 day moving average is holding the price it is keeping it down so if bitcoin doesn't break through this 32000 i don't think anything will happen in the near future what i could see is that it will revisit the 28 maybe the 25 again and we will just go lower slowly however anything can happen in crypto that is that is the beauty of it if we check the dominance uh we do have some not so let's say promising facts on the chart now as you can see i mentioned this uh, i think in my last video as well that the dominance is building up we are at the 40 almost 45 percent which is very promising and very good and if this would go higher and uh, we would confirm uh, 45 46 percent that would mean that a lot of money is going into bitcoin maybe coming out of from the altcoins but going into bitcoin now at this point, I would like to say that Bitcoin uh, doesn't, let's say, increase the market cap. So the money is not flowing into Bitcoin. That is what I can see on the chart. And as this dominance will start to fall and the altcoins don't start to pump, meaning that there is no a mini or micro alt season, that would mean that the, the money is, is going somewhere. Maybe it's redistributed, but it's not flowing into the altcoin. So it's... Uh, it's a very interesting uh, thing to watch because this could also mean that people are taking out money from Bitcoin and they put it in stablecoin. Now, which stablecoin, right? Because we have a couple of rumblings around stablecoins, even with Tether. Uh, I think from my perspective, USDC is the safest as we are because uh, even after the UST stuff, what happened and went on, uh, USDC uh, wasn't even shaken. So yeah. Uh, I keep in USDC whatever stablecoin I have and if we start to go down again here and the altcoins don't climb that would mean that the, the stablecoins will be the next uh, let's say station for the money because everyone will wait for Bitcoin to go lower. Aaron. Aaron is at the $93 and as you can see it went up to the 103 now this was because Benny Minkus news he just dropped on Twitter a lot of things we will talk about it in uh, one second right now it is below the moving averages which would mean that people are uh, not buying obviously Aaron will not be able to rally uh, by itself if the market is going down and everything is uh, is pushed lower Ethereum same situation we are above the 2000 which is very good and we are above the moving average now if ethereum would uh, make a jump from here let's... i would say that we could have some uh, some pump in bitcoin as well because uh, ethereum is somehow a confirmation or leading the way now this is the four hour it's not the most stable one the daily is uh, is not looking as good as the four hour but usually the price comes back to the moving average so i would expect ethereum to come back a bit uh, however this could also mean that a lot of people will sell so that will just fuel another price dip so yeah we will need to wait out and see what is going to happen uh, i cannot actually say anything whether it is going to go up or down we don't know we could go sideways for the next couple of months and i don't know or two years with some smaller dips and peaks 
therefore yeah we need to wait it out i know it's boring period but it is what it is however in the meantime we need to talk about what benny minku is doing on twitter he started to drop some very big tweets uh, it seems that the team is wrapping up a lot of work and uh, i think the biggest one is the grand bridge that is the bridge between ethereum and aaron that would allow projects to transfer from ethereum blockchain to aaron and I think that would be a very big thing. That would be huge because most popular projects are on Ethereum. Now, I'm not going to say that, uh, I don't know, the, the, the board apes or I don't know, whatever big Ethereum project, which has millions and billions of dollars in it, will go and transfer to Aaron. But if many Ethereum projects will transfer, it will just show the way to the bigger ones. This is the same as the adoption of uh, Bitcoin or cryptocurrencies uh with countries you know the smaller ones will start to uh to try it out maybe and they will just show the way they will prove that it is better it is something which a bigger one could benefit from and therefore like you know in step by step or with baby steps bigger bigger project will also uh start to transfer or maybe just start talking about it i don't know however this is uh very important and this could uh bring a very big adoption to aaron now, in the meantime, also the NFT marketplace will be dropped and I wouldn't be surprised if Ethereum, for example, would uh, start doing something, you know, some first NFTs uh, and uh, would use the NFT marketplace. The Max listing, so Max will be listed on BitMart and uh, that will be on the 24th of May, that is tomorrow. It is very important, however, the price doesn't show it. I mean, we can, we can check it here that the Max price uh, didn't even blink and uh, yeah it is in a downward trajectory we can't really see a breakout and that is because we still don't have a proper utility for max now uh, i think the important part when max will start to climb is when the max economics upgrade happens because that will bring some kind of a demand to max okay because uh, that is the most important i want max because not only just to hold it it's not bitcoin it's not scarce it's not doing anything we need something some utility for max so people would want it because that will bring them some other benefits and that is the main point here we want max to have some kind of a property or some kind of a basic functionality uh, which makes people to want the max okay not not only those who already have some i don't know what will be the economics upgrade but i will watch it closely and report on that obviously Okay, Utrust UTK 2.0. Now, this is the very important part because Utrust will be on the MyRDEX and it will be on the Aaron network. And that could uh, bounce the price a bit. It already bounced because, as you can see, in the last 24 hours, it went up 15%, which is, which is pretty big in these markets full of depression. And I just can't uh, wait to see how it will affect. Now, I want to highlight here that Utrust is already approved by two central banks, the Lithuanian and the Portugal. Arond is approved by the Romanian one and they have financial institutions. Now, I think at this point, Arond is the only one which already has approval from three central banks and that could say something. And I'm still waiting for some kind of a collaboration regarding cbdc on aaron network or something like that i think that is that is the end game here they want to be the basic uh, go-to project if somebody wants digital currency or uh, digital payment methods or services so i think that is what is going to happen new launchpad platforms and new dex platforms i don't know what they will be i can't wait to see them i am sure that they will implement some of the max uh, economics or uh, the max utilities in those as well therefore in the next lotteries uh, i think and it was confirmed already uh, it will also depend how much max you have. therefore uh, i wouldn't offload my max i didn't i'm just farming and gathering and accumulating and we will see i'm sure that in the end maybe not this year or maybe not this month but in the end uh, we will have some very good benefits from our max and don't forget that we got it for free only for holding Aaron and we got reward for holding Aaron as well right I mean those who stayed thank you very much for watching this was all for today I hope you like this content if you did subscribe smash the like button you know the drill and if you have any questions put it in the comments or on discord or on twitter wherever you like take care